Jesus is coming! Hi there guys, God bless you. Just got this article here from TW Tram. Thought it was really interesting. Here we go. Look up something momentous is about to occur in the heavens. On June the 24th, all seven planets in the solar system plus the moon will be lined up in their correct order on the same side of the sun. Such an alignment called a great planetary parade is extremely rare. According to astronomer Gary Sironic, it has been about 100 years since a similarly compact parade of planets has graced the skies. And it won't be happening again until 2041. But could this year's planetary parade be more than just a rare astronomical event? Seeing that June, or Sivan, is the biblical month of weddings, it is noteworthy that on the day of the alignment, the sun, which symbolising the bridegroom, Jesus in scripture, will transit into the constellation Gemini, the sign depicting the wedding union between man and woman. At the same time, the moon symbolises the bride, or church, will be travelling slightly out of the planetary line from planet to planet as it heads towards Gemini to meet up with the sun. The climax occurs on June 29 and the 30th when the sun and the new moon come together in the wedding sign Gemini as happens only once a year. The day after the celestial wedding, the moon will transit into the constellation Cancer the sign portraying the heavenly home of the bride, the eternal resting place of the many mansions in the Father's house, John 14, 2, 3. Thus, June's planetary parade may be seen as a heavenly wedding procession pointing to the ultimate wedding, the joining of Jesus and the church at the rapture. But there is more. Besides June 30th being the wedding date of the sun and the moon, this day marks the seven-year anniversary of the much-publicised Bethlehem Star Conjunction of 2015. This is significant as the God of the Bible is known for giving a seven-day or seven-year warning ahead of major events or judgments. For instance... Genesis 7, 1, 4, Noah was told to board the ark seven days before the flood began. Joshua 6, 1, 5, the Israelites circled Jericho for seven days, blasting seven trumpets before the city was judged. Pharaoh was warned in a dream about seven healthy cows and seven sickly cows that a famine would begin after seven years. Genesis 41. With Pharaoh's dream in view, consider another fascinating, fascinating connection. June 30th corresponds to the biblical date Tammuz 1, the birthday of Joseph, the young Hebrew, who interpreted the dream about the two sets of seven cows. Joseph said to Pharaoh, God has shown Pharaoh in a dream what he is about to do. Seven years of famine will ravage the land. Genesis 41:28. Here is why Joseph's warning is particularly relevant in 2022. Those watching the signs seven years ago will recall the two cows that were born with a distinct number sevens on their heads around the Feast of Trumpets, the biblical day of the awakening blast. In prophecy circles, the cows with sevens were interpreted to be a modern day version of the sign given to Pharaoh a seven-year warning regarding seven years of famine. Seven years later, in 2022, a, a burgeoning global food crisis suggests the interpretation was correct. The period of famine foreshadowing by the cows is beginning. On the 24th of June, all seven planets in the solar system plus the moon will line up one, end, one side of the sun in a rare heavenly procession. One week later, on June 29th to 30th, the sun and new moon will unite in the wedding sign Gemini. 
The next day, July the 1st, the moon will transition into Cancer, the sign depicting the church's heavenly home. The day of the celestial wedding, June 30th, also marks seven years since the Bethlehem star conjunction reoccurring in 2015, and the first day of Tammuz and the birthday of Joseph, the young Hebrew who interpreted Pharaoh's dream about the seven years of famine. Scripture says the heavens speak to us. The heavens declare the glory of God. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. The message of June's planetary parade seems to be the wedding of weddings is near. I love the simplicity of the gospel message. Your debt has been paid, you're free. That's the good news. Your debt has been paid by Jesus Christ in full, who went to the cross, whose blood was shed in your stead. The A is for admit. Admit that you're a sinner in need of a savior. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one save one, Jesus Christ. The B is for believe. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was crucified, buried, rose again from the dead, that Jesus is Lord. And then the C, after believing in the heart, is confessing with your mouth, calling upon the name of the Lord. Romans ten thirteen says, all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved.